Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Windows 11 computer is not detecting your second monitor. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd recommend doing, unplug your second monitor and plug it back in. Make sure you have a good connection. Second thing I'd recommend doing, if there's a power button on the monitor, make sure it's turned on. Another thing you can try, go on to the manufacturer's website and go ahead and download any applicable drivers that are available for that monitor. Definitely something I would strongly suggest. And then once you've exhausted those options, something else we can try here would be to right click on the start button. And you want to select settings. Select system and then on the right side select display. Go ahead and select multiple displays, choose the presentation mode for your displays, and then select where it says detect other display, select the detect button, and this should go ahead and detect if there are any other monitors connected to your computer, and make sure both of these options are check marks here as well, so remember Windows locations based on monitor connection, as well as minimize windows when a monitor is disconnected. So pretty straightforward process there guys, and I'm going to head over to start menu, and I'm going to type in device manager. The best match that comes up should say device manager right above control panel. So you want to left click on that. So now in the device manager window, you want to left click and expand the display adapters view by either double clicking on display adapters or left clicking on the little arrow next to it. Now there should be a display adapter listed here. You want to right click on it. And then left click on update driver software. It's going to ask you how do you want to search for driver software. Left click on search automatically for updated driver software. So just be patient, this might take a moment. So it says the best driver software for your device is already installed. Windows has determined the driver software for your device is up to date. I'd recommend going back to the settings window and see if it can detect the second monitor at this point. If you're still experiencing problems, you can actually go online and manually download the driver software. So if you're wondering how to do that, you can actually right click on the display adapter here and then left click on properties. And then you go underneath the driver tab at the top. It'll tell you the driver version right here, followed by the name of the driver up top. In most cases, it should say NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, something along those lines. And then what you would do is manually go online and search up those drivers. So if you wanted to do a more automatic approach to that, it's very simple. If we just close out a device manager. So if you opened up any web browser here as if we were going to download driver software on our own, let's say we were going to try and download an AMD driver. And you would pretty much replicate this for whatever driver software you're looking for. But let's just say AMD is our company here. So we're going to do AMD driver update or something, a variation of this. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing. So underneath download drivers on the Google page, we can see there's something that says AMD driver auto detect. You could probably also Google that as well, get directly to it. So we're going to actually open that up. And most of the big guys do have an automatic driver detection tool. So at this point, you would just left click on the download button right here. Keep in mind, you're not going to obviously download AMD drivers for NVIDIA graphic cards and the same in reverse. So you want to make sure you're downloading the right drivers. And then at that point, I would recommend refreshing that tool. And if that doesn't resolve your problem, I would definitely recommend restarting your entire system. And then hopefully the second monitor should be detected at that point. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.